because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Razaban I for TV proudly sponsored by Everlast with me, Vidal, Riley, Vidal. Wow, nobody expected that. You know what, bro? I, my prediction was wrong. I said I thought Lawrence was going to get the knockout between 7 and 10. Um, but it was always going to be a 50-50 fight. You know, uh, if, the, if, if Billum won, I'd be like, cool. If Lawrence won, I'd be like, cool. But the right man won today. The man that deserved to win won today, man. Um, Bill and Smith got everyone turning out over here. Crowd was booming. Atmosphere was booming. He, he, he's had a couple fights in Bournemouth before. Smaller venue said that, yeah, I'm ready for the stadium. And he achieved it tonight, man. He deserves it. Was it, was it down... It was like a call he couldn't get into any rhythm. Was that down to tactics from Billum's side? Um, I don't think Billum... I don't think... Let me go up a bit, man. I don't think Billum done much to win the fight today, to be honest. I think <laughs> Lawrence lost himself the fight, you know. Billum obviously had a good knockdown, he landed a good hook. Um, but he didn't get much off, there weren't much going on. It was more so the, the, the disciplinaries of points being removed and then I feel like through the ref being frustrated with Lawrence, there was a couple of knockdowns he scored that weren't really knockdowns, but he brought down himself, so the right man won. Lawrence was very confident the whole week, he was going to demonstrate Violence is what he was saying this week and over the last couple of weeks. He went back to his old habits, holding a lot, a lot of warnings, and people were thinking he might get disqualified before the fight even ends. I thought he was going to get disqualified. I can't lie. I, was, I don't know if anyone had a camera on me watching the fight, but I was very frustrated because I thought you're going to lose your world title via disqualification, bro. Like you can see, you're getting points taken off the referees on you, and then you're just continuing to hold. Like it was frustrating to watch because you don't want to see someone shoot their their self in the foot. You know, you're getting shot in the foot by someone else, cool, but don't do it to yourself. And it was just felt like it, it was getting to that point. It got to that point. Did he take the rematch straight away? Uh, yeah, he should. He should take the rematch straight away, but it's going to have to be a change, innit? We don't want to see another holding and clashing and, you know, we want to see clean punching and a display, you know, so immediate rematch, yeah, I think it should happen. Vidal, you owe me a 20 minute sit down. I'm going to end this at two minutes and 13 seconds. And that's when I finish on June 16th is more important than what we're talking about because I'm back in the ring and I'm going to get an ease. We'll see you at your call. Vidal Riley, IFL TV, thank you very much. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.